Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTaker. In this video, I'm going to do the CPU routing test results comparison between all of these three powerful Snapdragon processors. The Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 vs Snapdragon 8, 8 Gen 2 vs Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor. So we'll try to see the overall difference regarding the temperatures and overall uh, thermal throttling issues. So which processor will be having stable performance. All of these details we'll try to discuss in this video while comparing side by side regarding the CPU routing test results. So let me do open the CPU routing test results and let's see. So I'll try to use the same settings between all of these uh, three devices. Let, let me to change the 100 threads and 15 minutes of time. So I'm trying to use the same kind of settings between all of these uh, three devices. And we'll try to see the overall differences. So what you can actually expect uh, regarding the overall throttling issues and what will be the high temperatures while performing this CPU throttling test between all of these three devices. So let me do uh, first check the temperatures in my room and temperatures in the individual phones as well, 26 degrees, 26.2 degrees and 29 degrees slightly high in the iq12 device in the beginning and you can see my room temperatures so let's start uh, with the test so let's get started so one two three and i can be back after some time guys regarding the overall cpu totting test results so what you can actually expect and right now i'm not using any kind of high performance mode so no high performance mode is used while doing this testing no monster mode nothing is enabled so right now the scores are did go up to five lakhs so overall the benchmark scores in the cpu totting test results just a little bit higher so you can see the differences how the performance scores are to uh, in different process and I can be back after five minutes, then we can discuss the temperatures and overall details between these three devices. So right now, as you can see friends, after five minutes of time, let's check the temperatures between all of these three processes, 34.4 degrees in the Snapdragon 8 plus Gen 1, and Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 is 38 degrees, and Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 is about 37.8 degrees, so definitely 38.2 degrees. Slightly kind of close regarding the temperatures, not bad, and the Snapdragon 8 plus Gen 1 seems to be kind of having low temperatures, and you can see the performance numbers, how they dropped, and I will be back after 10 or 12 minutes of time. So right now, as you can see, friends, after getting close to 12 minutes of time, these are the temperatures are between all of these three processes, 37 degrees and 39.2 degrees and 40.8 degrees. You can see the increase in the temperatures, 40.8 in the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 and Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 processor. And I will be back after 15 minutes of time. So finally, friends, after 15 minutes of time, these are the CPU routing test results are the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 processor seems to be kind of stable performance. So the CPU totaling up to 85% uh, in this Iconia 7 with the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. You can see the results here and the minimum I just and the average scores. And next is the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor from the OnePlus 11. So you can see the overall uh, totaling, how the totaling is happening and the highest average and the minimum scores and the CPU total up to 74% in this oneplus 11 and finally with the iq12 with the snapdragon 8 gen 3 processor in this device the cpu total up to 74 percentage in the iq12 device with the snapdragon 8 gen 3 in this smartphone so this is overall quick look at the cpu totting test results comparison between all of these three devices and this might give the clear idea regarding the throttling so what you can actually expect uh, between all of these three smartphones so meanwhile signing off friends thank you for watching and instead of more updates and bye